Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will study a very interesting topic called decarboxylation. The name suggests decarboxylation means removing CO2. Correct. D this means removing carbo, which is my carbo, carbon, and exhalation process. The process of removing a carbon dioxide correct so this is what it says the process of elimination of carbon dioxide from a compound is called decarboxylation so if you see my r coh is my compound is a carbon here is a compound here from this if i remove this guy this carbon dioxide you get rh and co this process is called decarboxylation because you're removing carbon from it and the reverse process of adding carbon is called carboxylation when you add carbon dioxide to carbon. So in the norm in the chemistry world, organic chemistry world, decarboxylation literally means removal of COH group and when you replace CH group and you remove this guy and replace with H, that means you are adding or removing only CO. That is carbon dioxide. Correct? You're removing the whole COH group and replacing with the proton, that is you are removing a CO2 group. Let's study the preparation of alkanes from carboxylic acid in presence of soda lime. What is soda lime? Soda lime is nothing but I have my NaOH and I have my COA. It's a mixture of NaOH and CO in the ratio 3 is to 1. This is my soda lime. So what is special about soda lime? These are, these are nothing but these are my carbon dioxide hungry. So if you have carbon dioxide somewhere in the system, you add soda lime, there is nothing but COH2, and you react these two, right? You get CaCO3 and water. So it will just react with any carbon dioxide form, it will eat the carbon dioxide. Correct. Since we have to remove carbon dioxide from the system, so we we create this whole system and we start the reaction and we put this soda line. So whenever carbon dioxide is formed in the system, it will get absorbed by this. Soda lime. So if you see my sodium salts of carboxylic acids, when you heat them with soda lime, it gives uh, alkane with one carbon less. One carbon less, why? Because one carbon is used for removing carbon dioxide. Correct? And this process is called decarboxylation. Correct? So if you see the example, my RCONA, the NOH, when you react, you get RH. This thing is gone. And you get NO2CO3. One more reaction you can have instead of R, if I'm, I'm putting a methyl group, this is CS3 CONA. You react with NOH and CO, you get methane. Correct? And sodium carbonate. So let's see the reaction here. So if you see this reaction here, this is my, I'll take the general reaction. I have R COO minus N Na plus. When you heat this guy, when you heat this guy, what you get is let me write here. What you get is R C O O minus and Na plus goes out somewhere. Correct? Because they are polar in nature. So it is separate. Now if you see this guy, this is very unstable. This is very unstable. Correct? So what will happen is this negative charge will flow in this direction. It will form a double bond. Since my carbon will get 5 bond, carbon will break its bond and this bond will break in this fashion. So what you get is R minus N C O. Correct? Why? Because this was unstable. Since this was unstable, the moment, right, on its own it will break like this. This was unstable. So this O minus will go in this side, it will form a bond. This will have five bonds now. This carbon will break one bond. This is the easier bond to break. It will break this bond and R will get a negative charge. And this R will get some H plus no solution and it will form RH. Correct? And that, that's how you form this RH. So you started with this, you heated it up, you got RCO minus it unstable, it removed carbon dioxide on its own, and then the H plus is added, you got RH. Now again, let's see one more way of preparation of alkane, again from the same carboxylic acids. 
in this case we are not using any sort of line but we are using electrolysis process right so here we are uh, this is also called call reaction this is called this is my anode process charge this is my cathode right so so in this case again i take aqueous solution of sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid we electrolyze it and alkenes are formed at anode so this is a typical reaction which we had in the last slide where you have cs3co na it is an equilibrium with cs3co minus and na plus the moment you heat it this reaction is favored in the left direction so let's see the anode what happens at anode so we have less electron mass we have scarcity of electrons so i have cs3 co o minus right it will lose electron so it will give becomes cs3 coo free radical and this guy is pretty unstable we know that so what will happen is this bond will come and this bond will break so this will form cs3 dot and co this cs3 free radical we will combine with another cs3 free radical and forms c2h6 and this is my reaction correct this is my preparation of alkene from electrolyzed uh, carboxylic acid using electrolysis method let's take some uh, numericals on that this is numerical to write the iupac name so this is what the longest chain is from here to here let's see which side i can number If I number from this side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my functional group is at two, five, and seven, two, five, group, and then nine. What is the value? Nine, nine, eighteen plus five, twenty-three. Let's see what if I number from this side: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So in this case, my functional group is one, four, then five, then eight. Add this: eight plus five, thirteen, fourteen plus four, eighteen. So a green one is preferred. I delete the red ones. The red one numbering is incorrect. Pretty easy now. We can name it. So where I have my extra group at four ethyl groups, so it will be four ethyl. Four ethyl. Correct. And write correctly. Four ethyl. And then at I have. Uh, One, five, and eight. I have in group, so one, five, eight. Try eight. This is what ten. Right, so it will be deck one, five, eight. Try. Correct. Let's write the IUPAC name for this. Let's write the better way. This guy. So it is CH three CH double one C CH three and CH three. Correct. This is my one two three four carbon atoms. Now. I try the name of this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.